Master Duel, the official Yu-Gi-Oh simulator, a game which contains a ranking system that goes all the way from rookie to master. And I'm here to find out if it's possible to get to master using only legacy packs. In this series I'll be following a few rules on the road to master to see how far we can get. The rules are as follows. No crafting cards, no buying packs, only opening legacy packs, and only using the cards I opened in legacy packs. There is one exception, being cards that drop from the end of matches, but they are not very impactful and are on the same level as legacy packs. Let's see how far we can make it up the ladder and dive into the challenge as we take on the legacy ladder. Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. As you saw by the intro, we're on our brand new series, brand new account-ish. I had to play a couple of games last season to get a few legacy packs so we could actually build the deck uh, since one of the rules is we're not using the starter decks. So we have our legacy ladder account and we do have 25 legacy tickets. And as you saw by the rules, we're only allowed to use these legacy tickets, nothing else to build this deck. Uh, so we have 25, get two cards each. So hopefully we don't open 10 extra deck monsters because otherwise we're in a bit of a pickle. Uh, so let's see what our deck is going to be to start off with. We're going to see how far this can take us up the ranked ladder. So let's give this a go. First legacy pack. Well, I guess we have to open like 10 at a time. Let's open 20. That should be enough, in theory. Then we can open one at a time afterwards. Let's see, what's our deck going to look like? First cards, any good? Sunny Pixie. That's a level 1 that I can summon. This guy seems good. Can't be special summoned. Can attack twice in the battle phase. This card was destroyed. Special summon two tokens. Well, we have a tribute, dude. Literally double dude. Okay, this is a good sign. New account luck as well, I imagine. We're going to get some good legacy pack cards. Dark Spirit of the Silent. Activate only when you monster to kill attack. Negate the attack. And then it attacks it instead. That card's insane. Parrot Dragon, not so much. That card, that trap card's actually really good. I think that's going to win us a game at some point. I'm calling it now. We've got Rhino Taurus. If two or more of your opponent's monsters are destroyed by battle, this card can make a second attack. Crazy, and just a... Whoa, that's an 1800 level 4. We're already pulling good. We're eating good tonight. We've got a good deck. This is going to contend with the meta. That's like a 1600. That's not bad. Perform how Dag Dagger Man. It's a 2000 level 5. What's the monster effect? Do you main phase of Pendulum Summit? Well, we're not ever getting that, are we? Pack number 5. We've already had some insane stuff. Ball Blader. When attack is declared involving this card and opponent's monster, you can activate this effect. Neither player takes any damage and destroy the opponent's monster. Oh. And Mighty Guard. He's cool looking. He has to go in. But Ball Guard, that's a, that's a good card. Magical Labyrinth. Nope. Millennium Golem. What a cool looking card. I love, I love some of the old cards. I know that's such like a boomer take. But you have stuff like... Well, Spine to Gilbert is actually good. What? That's a 1700. Uh, Overdoom Lion. No, it does nothing. But some old cards like Giga Gaga Gigo and stuff like that. I wish they'd do more stuff like that these days. Oh, we got a Doitsu and Eternal Drought. Doitsu, yes. I can't believe we're going to be playing Doitsu. I suppose we have 40 cards exact. So the only way we're saved from Doitsu is if we get a fusion. Going to get activated during main phase one. Wow. Okay, that that's a that's a board clear. All mo battled monsters kill themselves, uh, and then another deed. That's good. We can. We need enough normal summonable monsters to be able to actually play. Zephyr War. Yeah, that's specific. Balloon Lizard. Like, look at this. This guy's awesome. A lot of defense. Nineteen hundred defense. So we will be playing him. Let's see, pack number 11. Ooh, shiny! We got a glossy. Oh, well, we're never getting its effect, so that's a shame. And probably never that as well. 
Problem is, there's some cards like the ones we pulled that are specific that we'll never we'll have to use. Offer this face-up card as tribute to return one of your monsters destroyed by battle to the bottom of your deck. All right, I guess we're playing that. Oh yeah, tribute one face-up attack position level two and return all level seven or higher. See, we can beat Kashira with that. <gasps> Give me an ultra rare. Come on. Yes, this is it. Let's see. That's not an ultra rare. We'll take it. We'll take it. Nia Aqua Midori. Well, just Midori. Come on, what is it? Judgment of the Pharaoh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I can't use either of its effects. Oh, man. I was hoping for, like, Morphing Jar or something. But you know what? We could activate it at some point. Actually, no, I don't think it would even let us activate it. Oh, yes. Reload view put it back to square one. That's insane. That's an insane pull. That's removal. Cyber Kirin. Yeah, I don't, don't think that's going in. Wood remains. Oh, wait, it has to go in. I keep forgetting that I can't just say no to cards. Okay, Dynamist. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's such a shame. Oh, so is that. Oh, man. Okay, possibly a super rare. It lied. Uh, Quipponi to a warrior monster. We could probably use that. Vanishes from grave. Yeah, we're never using that effect. That's a shame. So, the, I need to look at the best cards in this set. I probably should have done it before opening, but... Just one, one Blackwing, cool. Hurricane. It's a level 2 sprite support. Because I think the best cards are, like, completely jank. Mosaic Manticore. During the standby after you tribute this. Special summon from the graveyard. As many monsters as possible that you use for the tribute summon. Well, that's our boss monster. That's our ace monster right there. An Oath of Companionship. If you control no monsters that were summoned from the extra deck, easy. Uh, target one. Take control of it. Ah, oh, ah. Oh, okay, that's good. We can steal a Zeus. Blazing Apache, 1850. Crazy. And another Crimson Sentry. So this is our deck, basically. This is our deck. We've got no extra monsters or fusion monsters, extra deck monsters. So this is our deck. Let me go put it into the deck builder and we'll see what it looks like there. So this is our deck. This is our deck list. We've got some monsters. We do have some 1800s, so that might win us a few games. And well, we have some tribute summon guys. I mean... There are some good monsters here. And there's a couple of good spell traps. Like, this is crazy. Back to square one. That's just removal. This seems insane. I've never seen this card before. And I might run this in Monarchs. If it's actually good. Because it's quite funny. But yeah. Bunch of monsters. Let's do this. Let's see what comes out on top. Oh, of course, we've got to make this blue first. We've got to make it blue. So you will notice it's not completely fresh. We aren't at Rookie. But for Rookie... Hmm. But for Rookie, the only condition to get up is to play games, not win them. So we would have got here very quickly anyway. In fact, we're actually missing out on a couple of legacy packs because we missed those ranks. Um, so let's see how our first game goes against our Bronze 5 opponent. Hopefully they're going to wish us a happy new year and play a similar power level as what we're playing right now. I don't know why Master Duel lags like extremely hard every time it gets into a game. It's not like I have a bad computer, it just like dies. Uh, I think we want to go second for the extra card, I'm not going to lie to you. It's not like we have a full combo. Summon obnoxious Celtic Guardian and pass. Deal with this. Oh, it wasn't even obnoxious Celtic Guardian I had, it was Command Knight. Okay, so we've got... Unplayable card, unplayable card, kind of playable technically. So the rule is every time we get a legacy pack, we can open it. Um, if it forces me to open the five I've got remaining, then I'll just ignore the five um, and take one. Just because that kind of ruins the challenge a little bit, doesn't it? Cheating on the first episode. Okay, opponent has done a strong turn one play. We have drawn Doitsu. Big news. We're just going to summon this because it has the most attack um i don't want to play into evenly matched so i'm not going to set these cards so you got maxi he's got 
You're not gonna need to maxi against me, dude. You're fine. Oh, maxi is so powerful. It stopped my turn. Watch this. Two set cards. Are you ready? I'm scared because if he has maxi, he's probably like looked up a deck list so he knows what he's. Well, he's playing a competent deck. Um, I'm not going to say this deck isn't competent. Actually, I will say that. Uh-oh, Cyber Dragons. That's... Oh, it's a Continuous Trap. Yeah, we'll, we'll use it to try and bait, like, Infinity Negate. <laughs> For some reason, I don't think we're winning this. Oh, no. See, the thing is, I would concede here. But... If we lose and get a legacy pack, it still counts. I'm just thinking, do we have an out to a cyber dragon, like just a vanilla cyber dragon? And we have back to square one. Not that that's going to be very useful. Okay, he has taken out my knight. This isn't the strongest cyber dragon in board I've ever seen, but, uh, you know, that's fine. Oh, can you imagine? <laughs> does this count as a cyber? I guess it does. I mean, it's a machine. He could fuse that off. Oh, he could fuse that off as well. You know, I'm just going to try to lose as quickly as possible. I have no outs to this. How could he deal with a Doitsu? Okay, we lost. Let's see if we high roll. We will also be using card drops. If they give us a card. Okay, we got no rewards for that. Not a single, not even a pity gem. So maybe I can concede then. Uh, I will go second place. Maybe it's just wins that give you legacy packs then. Maybe I do have to win. I was hoping that was my, like, secret cheat, you know? I can lose games over and over again and make progress. Oh my god, I'm playing against Vanquish Soul. Uh, anything I can do against Vanquish Soul? I can summon Supporter in the Shadows. I will wait this one out because I want to see and test for sure if you get Legacy Packs on a loss or not. Um, if you do, I will be waiting out a lot of losses. Um, if I keep running into meta decks, but it will be worth it because we might get a card that maybe can win. Um, we'll see. Okay, let's see if we got a legacy pack. No. I guess if we do over a thousand points worth, it's like jewel links. So if we activate a deal enough activate stuff and do enough damage it's worth waiting it out but if we can't do anything then we might as well just concede oh no they made me go first based on what I've seen this is probably like Numeron this is like full constructed Numeron Aww. best thing to do is look at the extra deck ah 10 we might have a someone we can actually fight against well, the strongest guy we have is a thousand, so we're just going to set him. And maybe he summons more than two dudes to the trap, and then I can force them to attack each other. And then maybe Wood Remains comes in clutch. What a creepy description. A living corpse of wood reanimated by powers of darkness. And he's a thousand attack. Like, what tree you seen that looked like that? Unexpected die. I've been playing too much Edison. I thought that was Heavy Storm. Oh, he's on World Chalice. He's probably playing from the solo mode. Link Spider. Okay. So this is probably... We probably have a chance to win. Like a small chance. Very small chance. And we need to play those odds. Wow. Normal summon Digitron. Okay. We could force the Link Spider to die. And I will do that in case we draw a tribute summon monster. That might be our... Did I, did I read the card wrong? 
Oh, that monster attacks instead. Oh, that's so much worse. I read the card wrong. I thought it meant it attacks someone else. Like, betrayal in Hearthstone. Oh, dear. That's really not good, then. If we can set this, this is insane. But I don't think we can do that. We can kill the spider, so I think we have to do that. I mean, it did negate an attack, so it is still, like, kind of useful, but not really. Well, it didn't even negate an attack. It saved us 500 life points. Yeah, still, still more useful than some of the cards we have in here. Oh, no. He's got removal and stat buffs. I don't know what I'm going to do against that. How is this not a Tuna? I see a small monster and I always think Tuna, but nothing is Tuna. But this is. Offer this face-up card as tribute. Wow, they have... They worded that amazingly. Return one of your monsters. It's a 1500, but it's not enough. Yeah. We need the equip spell. The... The blade. Um, and then we can beat over these guys. That's our chance. Assuming I'm not dead. Well, we did do some stuff that game. Maybe we got a legacy pack? Nope. We activated a single trap. I want to win one game this episode. At least one game. That would be really nice. I didn't think Bronze 5 would be this cutthroat. I mean, last game wasn't a good example, but... There's... <laughs> It seems pretty scary. Ooh. We've drawn our equip card, which is one of the best cards. And Balloon Lizard, that's 1900 defense. So we're, we're going pretty good. Disturbance strategy will only be good if they search something that I don't want them to have, and then they probably still draw it again anyway. Six cards in the extra deck, though. This could be a starter deck. What is that? Legendary Six Samurai Mizuho. Okay. So he's got a tribute and pop. Oh, thank God I can beat over this. Because he would kill my lizard if I didn't draw that. Uh, we will be summoning the Spiked Gilman. This is Edison. Oh, Jam Defender. <laughs> okay, that doesn't do anything. There you go. And Disturbance Strategy. Let's see if that comes in clutch. Maybe he adds the Winged Dragon of Ra or something. Okay. This is actually looking really promising. We have to be really aggressive, I think. Because um, otherwise... We just lose. <laughs> we only have so many good cards in our deck. Or usable cards. Speaking of unusable cards. Um, I guess I have to play into Mirror Force. Or Torrential Tribute or something. What is that? I was not playing around Morphtronic Bind, was I? Well, you control a face-up Morphtronic monster all level 4 or higher monsters. Cannot declare an attack or change their battle positions. Oh, so it's just gravity bind, but bad. So if I, if I can't kill this, I am boned, assuming it's a Morphtronic monster. Okay, probably should have attacked with this because it has an extra effect because of the equip. But that's fine. He does not have a Morphtronic monster that won't die. We'll set, we'll set this as well. A little bit of a bluff, you know? What does she do? An opponent monster that battles this card cannot attack during the opponent's next two turns. Okay, so this guy can't attack. We might, we might win. We might actually win. Like, I have never seen this card. Yay! Nice. Connection failed. I think we were winning that. We had two 1700s. We ranked up! Look at us go. 100 gems. Oh, we don't need those. What did we get? Two legacy packs. Alright, alright. 
Hopefully this helps take out some of the unplayable cards that are in our deck at the moment. Like, completely unplayable. Uh, let's have a look. Your tickets. You'd be redirected to Legacy Pack. Why can I only open seven? Okay, so as I said earlier, I will only open two. Uh, so the first five I'm just going to skip and ignore. And the rest I will use. So these first five packs, five packs are dud. We, I will skip over these. Okay, real packs. Let's see what we get. Blackwing Ghibli the Searing Wind. You can special summon this once your opponent declares an direct attack. You can switch the... Uh, we're playing that. We're definitely playing that. 1600. Your opponent cannot target face up Horus the Black Dragon Flame with monsters with spell traps or card effects. Cool. We're never running that. Actually, it's still probably more playable than some of the unplayable cards. So that might go in. Digitron, we just played against him. Energy Bravery. Gemini monster you control that are being treated as effect monsters cannot be destroyed by card effects. I might have to play him in Edison. I'm not going to lie to you. And 1700 attack. Okay, so we've taken out some completely unusable cards. Like, uh, where have we got it? We took out the Magical Labyrinth and the Dynamist Eruption and Zephyr War. We added in the Digitron. We added in the Blackwing Ghibli. We also added in Energy Bravery because uh, it's 1700. That's probably one of the best monsters we have. And also Horror Servant, just because it's more playable than one of the trap cards we had. So we're going to go see if we can win one more game. Um, and then I will ask you in the comments, do you like the series? I'm having a lot of fun with this so far. Like playing with these cards I've never seen before is really fun. Um, but let me know. I will be doing another series next week as well. Um, just to see. And then we'll see what gets more reception, what people like more. Um, and then... We'll continue with that series. Um, I would like to continue this account. This account seems really fun. It's it's a fun concept. Want to see how high I can get using these terrible cards and see how well this deck can hold up after a few weeks. We actually have a good hand. This is a 1900 with the equip. That's big. Because I've been inspired by Masochist. Uh, Masochist looks really fun to play. Oh god, I'm playing against... Is this... Dogmatica? Um, and I wanted to do my own kind of version of it. Um, not sure if anyone's done it before. Probably has, but it seemed like a really fun series and I wanted an excuse uh, to create a new account and create a series. Uh, create a series, really. To be honest, that's not a great turn from him. I can beat a 1500. Oh, and we got the Oathful Companion. We can take control of one of his extra deck monsters. We just need a tribute monster now. I would say I don't want to over overcommit, but I will. Because as I said in the last game, we have to be really aggressive. So we'll summon this and equip it. Get our biggest monster out there. And let's go battle. What have you got back there? Okay. Nothing. This is a good look for us. Are we about to be branded Despia? Assuming that's what this deck list is. It's not like Dark Magician or something. Normal Summer Spriggan's kit. That's fine. I'm glad we summoned the 1900. Mm mm. Uh-oh, branded opening. He's going for the fusion. So we can steal the monster. But it's a question of do we want to yet? Because we might be able to tribute it, and that might be our only way of removing it. Okay, fusion summon one monster. Albion. Okay, so he's going to have more than one fusion. That's not great. We might be able to prevent death by... Stealing one. I think we will hold off until we draw our next card. If it's a tribute, we might actually be fine. Millennium Man or Golem Man or whatever his name was. Okay. Oh no, he's going to make us pay 500 life points for each activation. Oh, beg. 
Oh, he's not a dragon? Oh, I was begging he attacked into this. I really hope he uses Libellion and doesn't read um, the... If the equipped monster battles the dragon monster, destroy it. That would be really funny. But so far we have something that can out the kit. That's it. And we can we can steal the masquerade and crash. I think that's what we will end up doing. Take the masquerade, crash into the libellion. And then kill the kit. Just full board clear. We do actually have a chance. We do actually have a chance. Oh, okay. That hurts a bit, yeah. If you control one beast you monster. Yeah, he's gonna just pop. But that that's fine. Yeah, you can get that back, that's fine. It's only a fifteen hundred. Doesn't do anything else, alright. That would be unfair. If that had effects. Okay. Oh, we actually got the tribute summon, okay. There's potential. Let's activate this. Pay our tax. Steal it. Yeah, but you weren't playing around at Oath of Companionship. You fool. It's a meta contender. Every deck is running three these days. Oh my god, that's Giga Giga Giga. I only just realised that. Okay, we've stolen it. Would I prefer to tribute someone? No, because he can just pop. I will go. Well, no, no, no. no. Let's let's take out the kit as well. Battle. Let's kill this first. Kill the second. Okay, we have cleared the board. Pick up the phone. Don't call on me. Ah, we can we can't kill it, but that that is promising for us. Or we might be able to kill it in a turn seven. In turn. So I actually need to look at the other pendulum we pulled now that I think about it. Because if we get two pendulum monsters, that's crazy. That's depending on the scales, we might actually be able to use that. During the main phase, fusion seven. Oh, we might lose. Okay, Grangugnol. Okay, I think we might be dead with the summon of that. Yeah, we're dead. Well, we did a lot. There's a potential for a legacy pack. Potential. No. No. Not even close. Okay, so I didn't actually pull a Pendulum Monster. It was in those five legacy packs that... Uh, <sighs> that didn't count. One more. One more. Unless it's like Mega Lose. In which case, two more. This guy's been Platinum. I don't know if you can see this. Let me just... Whoa! He's been in Platinum. What a madman. What's he doing down here? He's probably playing full cash tier or something. Well, we got a normal summonable monster. That's about as much as we can ask for. We'll summon our weaker monster. Just set judgment of the Pharaoh, I guess. Well, to be fair, I think Yujo Friendship and Unity are both in the legacy packs so if we ever pull those I suppose they're not useless anymore and the effects are pretty good also wow okay we might be winning this depending on what's set there do I am I really summoning mighty guard now we have to go oh we gotta go parrot dragon maybe I summon the Xi'en because it's more damage and then um if he can't kill them, get the parrot out. There's 200 more damage, and that shouldn't matter, but when you're playing a deck like this, it does matter a lot. Because that might be the only damage you ever get in a game. Okay. 
That set card is scaring me. I don't know what it could be. It could be a major upset. Or a judgment of the Pharaoh, maybe. End phase. Oh my god. Is this just going to be the freest win of all time? Again, this is more damage, so... Let's summon this guy. Maybe I should be playing around like Mirror Force, but... This puts him on a two-turn clock to do something. He's got a response. He's got something. Okay, next turn, we will tribute some of the Parrot Dragon and set one to defense. Put the Major Upset down as well. How underwhelming would it be if this was a self-TK bot? He just flips up like Garbage Lord. Okay, well, hopefully our 2000 can get over this. Ooh, but he's a cooler 2000. Millennium Golem. Get rid of the remains. There is a way to play around. I've just realised if that's 2100 defence, I'm actually screwed. I'm going to go battle, because if he had Mirror Force, he'd probably use it by now. Let's see, is it 2100? Oh, thank God I attacked with the Millennium Golem there. She ends advisor. Energy bravery? Yeah! Oh, man. He had an Ash Blossom, so he was playing a deck, and like a real deck. Awesome, please give us some legacy packs. Ranked up again! What a crazy video. Two legacy packs! Two! Oh, we passed the exam! Crazy. Let's see what he was playing. Oh my god. Gimmick puppets. Okay, now, now he explains why I won. <laughs> so this is the deck. We have played quite a few games and we got four whole legacy packs in our first episode, which is going to be big, big news. Uh, I'm saving the two packs for next episode, so tune in to see what we pull there and if it's anything absolutely insane, meta warping, Kashira Fenrir, something like that. That being said, if you enjoyed the episode and want the series to continue, please do let me know down in the comments as I will love to continue this and love to see how people both receptive to the series. That being said, if you've made it this far in the video, please do feel free to hit subscribe. New Yu-Gi-Oh! videos each week. And as always, happy dueling. Yeah.